When do you know it's time to walk away? Because, you know, common knowledge, we've all heard, you know, persistence, stick it out. This, like, but sometimes you're holding on to something that's dead and gone already. You looking back, if you had to give any advice to anybody watching this that is holding on just for the for the sake of holding on, there's nothing there no more. Right. When do you know to walk away? That's a great question, man. Um, with my personality type, man, I'm the type of dude that I think that if I dig in hard enough, I'm gonna be able to turn it around. Uh, in retrospect, I should have, um, my partners and I, we've talked about this on numerous occasions. We should have shut that thing down probably about six months earlier, kept all our cash as opposed to trying to throw our personal cash in to keep that thing afloat and then transition into something else. Um, but I think once the, the, the diminishing returns are consistent, uh, if there's any industry influx, uh, if you're seeing that, there's no light at the end of the tunnel. Don't be scared or don't be like, man, I, you know, I failed. That's part of your process. It's part of your process. So what I learned from that whole process is number one, that it doesn't matter what it looks like today, be it good or bad, that can change instantaneously. And we've seen that in today's environment with coronavirus. Um, so you just have to be aware. You got to think, think ahead. So it's just like I tell people like playing pool, right? When you're taking a shot, you're not thinking about just this shot. You're thinking about setting up the next shot and the next. So that's the mindset that you have to have. But if something is, is, is draining you financially, mentally, and you don't see any light at the end of the tunnel, cut it loose because that may be God trying to tell you, yo, this, this isn't your season for this. I got something better for you. You know what I mean? But I need you to listen. But I think also, Sean, and you, you, can, you can attest to this, when you create something, it's like your baby. It's your baby. Like, yeah, it's, it's your like, baby. damn, I created this, man. I just can't throw the baby out with the bathwater. But sometimes you got to, man. And uh, I learned that the hard way. But, but that's a lesson I will never, a uh, mistake I'll never make again, though. Trust me. <laughs> you know, there's that, a great point you bring up, um, because we're going through very difficult times right now with COVID business has, businesses across this country, across the world, have right. been closed down now for going on three months. People, entrepreneurs, especially if they built these businesses from the ground up, they don't want to just let them go. It's right. so hard to look in, you know, yourself in the mirror and say, I, I, I'm about to shut down something that I grew from inception. Right. But as hard as that decision is to make, like you said, sometimes it's God telling you, yeah, you, the, the, the season for this, it's yeah. over. It's over. Everything, <laughs> you know, seasons change. Yeah. I have something better for you waiting, but you have to be willing to trust the process. Trust God. Trust whoever you pray pray to that if you did it once, you can do it again. Definitely. And hopefully you'll do it better the next time. <laughs> You're coming into it with a lot of experience, a lot of wisdom, a lot of knowledge. Yeah. So, you know, this is this is something that I think so many people uh, uh, they're going to be facing in the next you know few months. What do I do? Exactly. And um, it's it's going to be a hard decision, but. You'll know in your heart when it's time to walk away. Just mm -hmm. listen to that inner voice. Pay attention to, to you know, what does my revenue look like? Can right. I rebuild this? Because it's, it's going to take a lot to get these businesses back up and moving the way that they were before the world shut down. Exactly. Talk to me about Black Entrepreneur Blueprint. Why'd All you right. create it? All right. Well, I'll tie that in with, with my last, my last comeback, which my, was my last one. Cause this ties right into black entrepreneur blueprint. Mm -hmm. So after the mortgage business collapsed and now the stakes are higher, bigger house, bigger mortgage, kids going to be going to college in several years. So all of that, I was laying on the couch, bro. And I'm looking at the ceiling. This was late at night. My wife and my, my daughters are sleeping like babies and I'm figuring out, man, how am I going to keep these lights on? How am I going to pay this mortgage? I'm 
behind on everything. So I made a vow to myself. I said, when I come back this time, I said, I'm going to do something that I truly love uh, and something that I'm passionate about. Because as a serial entrepreneur, for me, I, my, my joy comes from building businesses. So it really didn't matter to me if it was a mortgage company, a marketing firm. I owned an 80 alarm dealership. I, I mean, like I said, I've owned tons of different businesses. It, but this time I said, I need to align my inner, you know, what, what I believe in and, and, and what I'm good at, you know, what I like to do. I need to align that with a business. So I started Black Entrepreneur Blueprint, the podcast, more for cathartic reasons, because I've always had people coming over, yo, Jay, man, how do I start this business? How do I do that? Okay. So now I start a radio show in Philly. It's a terrestrial show. And it was actually called The Entrepreneur Advantage. Um, but then I said, you know what? I'm going to pull it off and I'm going to niche it down to certain things that I love. So I thought, I thought about what I like to do. What am I good at? What's somebody going to pay me for? All right. And so I love entrepreneurship. You know, I'm passionate about it. I study it. I breathe it. Marketing, entrepreneurship. I love my people, you know. And being a black entrepreneur, there's certain things that are intrinsic for us, our experiences, that other ethnicities may not have. Okay. And so I said, well, let me niche this down and start talking about it. And I said, you know what? The guy at the radio station was like, man, nobody listens to this. This was 2014 now. Nobody listens to internet, radio, podcast. All right, bro, whatever. So I just started doing it. My first episode, I had a, the first month, I had 170 downloads, and they were probably all family and friends. But over the five plus years, it's been rolling. But what I started doing, uh, Sean, was I just started talking about my experiences. And I'm very transparent, just like on this interview. The, the good stuff that I've done and the, the bad stuff that has happened, my wins, my losses. And then I bring other entrepreneurs on, such as yourself, to share their stories. And it just kind of, I'm a grassroots type guy because I'm not real crazy big on social media. Just kind of picked up steam. And I was able to create an ecosystem around the actual podcast. And um, one of the things that really kicked it off, Sean, was... Uh, I started telling people about uh, e-commerce because I, I, I hit real big in e-commerce and that's how my e-commerce portfolio is my second multi-million dollar business. So I own several product brands, uh, digital, I do digital courses, online stuff. So that's how I built my second business after my second comeback. I built it around what's truly in me because if you align that, you know, you'll never work a day in your life. And you and I talked about that. If yep. you're doing what God designed you to do, you, man, it's, you can't even, you, I tell people, you, once you're in that sweet spot, I can't even explain it to you. I don't have to explain it to you because you're there. But I tell people, you over there going to a job that you can't stand, working with people you don't like for money that isn't long enough versus trying to get to that sweet spot. I'm like, I can't, bro. I can't do it. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.